it's one of the coolest opportunities that's been given to me. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad, uh, like Maggie Dank, you know, the faculty at CIA gave us this opportunity, and it, it's it's. I mean, it, it's it's an honor to be able to do it. So, because yeah. a lot of times I see museum as kind of like a like a like a graveyard for work. Like after like it's in the gallery and it's new, it's fresh, it gets put into there as like a piece of history, you know, as like this moment, this site in time, and it's taken out of its original context and then just becomes like this historical timeline of like what work was being made. But in this sense, they're really kind of changing my view of that because they're using their cafe space as a gallery space so which I think is great and I think should be done more the whole idea of doing like a refuse show and really the impossibility of that and having a judge show by the institution by like an academy of art about not fitting into that institution so I was really trying to think about that and what that actually that impossibility meant like I know, I know what I want to do, but because it adapts to not just the space, but like when I come there, what kind of mood I'm in that day, what kind of work I want to hang up, what I decide to hang over another piece, what piece is under another piece. That's that'll just be that'll be reactionary when I'm there, and no matter how much I can see the space or how familiar I am with it, mm -hmm. that'll always change. Like in that moment when I'm directly there setting up. So. A series of pieces like I'm the jack of all trades. I do everything. You know, I'm proficient at drawing. I can paint. Um, I do a lot of sculpting. Do a good amount of ceramic work. I can do printmaking, and so I guess the materials is yeah, it's everything. It totally depends. It's whatever means necessary. Be my own. Um, just how lost I am in all this canonized history. I mean, we're given this timeline you know, of like what happened and what we're taught and what we're supposed to know and what are good classical ideas, what's a good painting, what's a bad painting, you know, what is actually the foundation of visual art, is it just a collection of shapes and color, or is it this grandioso, you know, critique on society, and uh, it, that's, the people can say like how much they understand and can filter that out, but I think it's really, um, it's just an obscene amount of information and something that can't be just read clearly and I think I almost want to represent that just like this bombardment of all this history all this information all this criticism all this theory you know and it's uh, when it comes out it's just uh, I, I don't know we'll see sure like I, I, I like the idea that you can I like collage a lot as you can tell when when you engage one of my pieces I want you to be so bombarded with with imagery that you just don't know, you know, what's your whole perception of space and no, reality just disperses.